We are left the Goodyear FIA European Track Racing Championship and we are back in Le Mans, France. And French people, they do love motorsports. So those empty seats might be waiting right now, but see for yourself tomorrow. It's gonna be packed and this is gonna be another amazing race weekend. A lot of stuff has been going on in Solda, Belgium at the last race weekend, which brought some changes for this weekend, but see for yourself. As you might know, we had a little fire at the last race in Solder. And Luis, I'm really astonished to read your name again. And your truck really looks very nice. I'm only wondering, because I can see Julia up there. And I think uh, Julia belongs to someone else normally. No, la, la verdad es que el the truth is, this truck isn't mine. It's the truck of Lucas Hahn, son of Jochen Hahn. And I am honestly very thankful that Jochen gave me the chance to drive this truck because our truck is in preparation and not ready yet. And actually, it's impossible to solve it for this weekend. So now it's in the workshop and we will repair the truck when we have time to do so. This weekend could be the next lucky one. Are you already like could, are you already measuring like when it could actually happen? Uh, you know, well, you, you can never get used to this, you know, because I mean, it's it's never easy. We have a bit of an advantage in the championship, which uh, we can be a little bit confident, you know, but not too much confident, you know. We still aim to do the same, like what we always do, you know, to have the best race weekend that we can have here have the best result and then, you know, the overall will bring itself. It really feels like this is gonna be another amazing race weekend. So qualifying number one is just about to come in Le Mans, France. is already already like uh, getting boosted up for race number one this weekend and I think you're like developing your points making sure that second place is yours right yeah in the end I have really not no not really a stress to beat him but when he gives me a possibility to do I will do it so but anyway I must look to Sasha and Antonio and it's a confident position was a little unlucky in qualifying, so he's just starting out from somewhere back there. How much do you like Lumo? Because I always like try, like to see people's faces. Some really like laugh it a lot, and some don't like it so much. How are you feeling about? It? I'm six-time European champion, five titles. I've been here in Le Mans, so I have something together with Le Mans, and I will not say I love it, but I feel very confident on the track. Yeah. The weekend started in usual fashion with Norbert Kish taking pole position with Jochen Hahn starting alongside him on the front row. But a great qualifying session from Steffi Halm would see her lining up in third position in her Iveco. As the race got underway, there was plenty of jostling for position, contact between teammates Jamie Anderson and Sasha Lenz in the early stages, while everybody tried to navigate the chicane for the first time under full racing power. Antonio Albacetti was the first to try and have a go at Steffi Halm, with Sasha Lenz putting pressure on behind him, the two of them importantly trying to pick up points, as they were fighting over third place in the championship. The Promoters' Cup battles were going on strong as ever, with Jose Rodriguez in the middle of the pack as well. It was good to see him back in the championship. Jose Eduardo was right up behind Andre Kersim, who'd also had a bit of contact in the opening laps and seemed to be struggling for pace in this first race of the weekend. Stefan Fass wanted to follow his competitor through, but it didn't seem like it was going to be very easy. 
Jamie Anderson and Sasha Lenz were back together before too long, and it seemed like Sasha was struggling on corner exit. And it, in the end, it was actually diagnosed as a broken front axle. He had real problems with the steering, and Jamie was able to breeze on by, and Sasha's team would need to do one hell of a refit job between the races. Very soon, Antonio Albacetti was right up behind Steffi Halm once again, and he was trying to take away that final podium position from the number 44. Steffi was definitely holding her own, though, and putting in some serious lap times to stay ahead of the Spanish racing legend. The two of them still had Jochen Hahn slightly in their sights, but Jochen was looking a lot more comfortable up there in second place. At the very front of the field, Norbert Kish was continuing to extend his lead, once again starting a weekend on fantastic form, and especially one where he could win the championship. It was even more important than ever. Antonio tried absolutely everything that he could, but in the end he would not get past Steffi Halm, and she would hold on to a podium finish, with Jochen Hahn taking second position. Out in front though, Norby was supreme as ever and looking set to take the championship title with one race meeting to go. He wins the first race of the day ahead of Jochen Hahn and Steffi Halm. In the Promoters' Cup, it was Jose Eduardo Rodriguez holding on ahead of Andre Kurzim and then his Promoters' Cup rival, Stefan Fass, who would take second position. Completing the podium in that cup would be Heinrich Clemens Hecker. Norby starting things off strong and putting one hand on the championship trophy already. This was your 20th pole position we just measured and you again turned it into a magic trophy. So, I mean, it's running very well for you this weekend. Yeah, you know, um, again, very good job to the team uh, for Avis Racing, you know, because, you know, we again, uh, I think did a good job with the setup and nailed uh, the setup for Le Mans. The free practices was very good. Uh, qualifying also was good, you know. I made a bit of a mistake in the lap, but still was good enough for pole position. So the result of the first race of the weekend, Norbert Kish wins by over eight seconds from Jochen Hahn and Steffi Halm, with Antonio Albacetti finishing in fourth place and Jamie Anderson completing the top five. Jose Eduardo Rodriguez takes the victory in the Promoters' Cup. Andre Kurzim, Stefan Fass and Heinrich Clemens Hecker were next up, with Jose Rodriguez returning to the championship with a top ten result and a championship point for his troubles. But as mentioned, it was now time for Norby to really focus and try and get extra results to take that championship crown before the next race meeting. championship there are so many people around here they really love motorsports and they really love truck racing so it's such a special atmosphere and we were like okay let's go find some people and there are plenty of people that we can share with you that are waiting for the second race to start which is going to be happening quite soon uh, starting out at the last row but this exactly has been your first race ever in the ETRC one year ago so this is your second time in Le Mans which means you did quite well you didn't fly out you didn't destroy your truck you had a quite good year so far so how are you feeling back there and what's your plan for this race right now yeah I'm feeling good uh, we had a good qualifying we was P11 only two temps off Super Pole and then in the race we were up to P9 and then Clemens hit us in the back and spun us off and put us to the back. So we start the back of the grid. We'll try and make some quick moves and get forward as quick as possible. So 
Certainly a fired up John Newell ahead of the second race of the weekend, with Andre Kurzim and Stefan Fass sharing the front row of the grid. It was the latter on pole position, hoping to take big points in the Promoters' Cup from this race, but he had Jose Eduardo Rodriguez right behind him. Louis Requenco got in a little bit of trouble for leaving the circuit at the very start, but it was Jamie Anderson that left everybody else in his dust. He had an epic start, gaining three places almost instantly. Stefan Fast did his best to hold on to the race lead, while Jamie continued to put the pressure on. There was contact further down after a big checkup for Mark Taylor and Jose Rodriguez, but before long, Jamie Anderson would take the race lead and Stefan Fast would drop down the positions. He had Jose Eduardo Rodriguez all over him though for the Promoters' Cup lead and it was looking like the two were going to go head-to-head -head once again. Andre Kurzin was yet again in a position where he had to defend hard but made a little mistake here and let through Steffi Halm and Antonio Albacetti, the two that had been scrapping in the earlier race in the day. The damage was unfortunately too much for Mark Taylor to carry on, bodywork or not, so he would be on the sidelines for the remainder of the race. Everybody else was queuing up behind Stefan Fass and Jose Eduardo Rodriguez as they all tried to get through. Norbert Kish led the charge in the end ahead of Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz and the three of them would start to make more and more ground towards the front of the pack. The battling was fierce and intense and penalty markers were going flying in all directions as a result. Eventually they would all get past Stefan Fass, but in the end as well, Jochen Hahn would end up with a five second penalty for contact with Jose Eduardo Rodriguez, maybe just a little bit too boisterous in coming through. At the front, Steffi Halm had started to close more and more on Jamie Anderson, but her and Andre Kurzim would both get five second penalties for leaving the circuit and gaining an advantage. So with Antonio Albacete close behind, they would certainly need to get a move on because they would lose a lot of places in the long run for it. Kersin would drop behind Norbert Kish in the overall standings before the race was even completed, securing Norby a position on the podium. Sasha Lenz would get a couple of free points as well after the demotion of Jochen Hahn for his penalty, but it was certainly a good recovery drive from Sasha considering that 20 minutes before the start of the race the truck didn't have a front axle. But Jamie Anderson reigned supreme at the front and took his first race victory of the season ahead of Steffi Halm, Antonio Albacetti and Norbert Kish, with Steffi being relegated down into fourth place after the penalty. Great scenes though as Jamie Anderson took the race victory for the first time this year, a solid return to form at the French circuit. First win of the season and some quick water before the champagne will be over there. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Good race. It was uh, we had a very good start. Um, you know, and uh, we've had our downs this season a little bit. Um, and it's just good to give the team back something, you know, bring us all on and uh, we didn't feel too good this morning, but um, this has definitely put a good end to the day. So Jamie Anderson takes his first race victory of the season in race number two at Le Mans, with Antonio Albacetti and Norbert Kish second and third. Jochen Hahn finished in fourth place ahead of Steffi Halm, with Sasha Lenz finishing in sixth. Jose Eduardo Rodriguez took another victory in the Promoters' Cup battle, with Stefan Fass and Heinrich Clemens Hecker second and third in that category. Andre Kurzim found himself in eighth position after his penalty. Behind them were John Newell and Louis Requenco completing the runners, with Mark Taylor and Jose Rodriguez retiring from the race. And as the sunlight faded over the French countryside, it was time to begin an annual tradition here at Le Mans with an incredible parade and convoy around the circuit with everybody in really high spirits. As always, the start finish straight and all of the grandstands were absolutely packed for this amazing occasion and everyone was in high spirits up and down the entire paddock. It's always a real treat coming to Le Mans and of course the fireworks display at the end of the evening is no exception to that entertainment. The circuit always puts on great racing but of course the fans, the personnel and everybody involved put on a great show throughout the whole weekend as well.
Good morning from Le Mans, France and the Bugatti racetrack. We are back for the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship and day number two. So being a winner, you also got a towel that says Le Mans because they were just celebrating the 100th uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Le Mans, by the way. So did you, did you keep the towel as a special souvenir? Yeah, definitely. That's part and parcel of the package. You know, um, so yeah, it's good. It's good memorabilia, and it's it's good to show your journey in life. All right. So good luck and good races to you for today. The third race of the weekend would be Norbert Kish's first opportunity to take the trophy and take the 2023 Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship title, which would be his fifth title in his career. He started on the front row alongside Sasha Lenz with Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albacetti on row two. And as the lights went out, all of the tension was completely unfolded and everybody was away and racing. That was everybody except Andre Kurzim. The German had had an electrical failure in his truck and it had ground to a halt. Unfortunately, that meant that the race was going to be red flagged. Antonio Albacetti was one of the ones most gutted by that after an excellent start, but Sasha Lenz would be pretty happy with it as well because he didn't get a great getaway in the first occasion. Andre eventually got back up to speed and would reform in his usual starting position on the grid. As we got underway the second time, there was contact at the back of the field, but a great start by Sasha Lenz, which saw him take the race lead from Norbert Kish, not something that we see happening very often. As the field made their way down the hill, it was a beautiful sight, but Sasha was very confident at the front of the field and tried to hold on. Norby soon made the move down the inside though, and it was a nice clean attack to retake the race lead and put himself in striking distance of the championship title. Sasha wasn't going to take it lying down though, and he was chasing him all the way to the flag, with Jochen Hahn, Antonio Albacetti and Jamie Anderson in hot pursuit. There was more amazing battling going on in the Promoters' Cup, but it got a little bit out of hand in certain moments. This big contact here between Jose Rodriguez and Stefan Fass, certainly a bit of a low point of the race. John Newell then got involved as an innocent bystander and would have a left rear puncture for the remainder of the race, while Jose Rodriguez battled to regain control of his truck. John Newell defended valiantly. He was incredible with the left rear puncture on his truck and somehow held off all advances from the drivers behind, Stefan Fass, Mark Taylor and Heinrich Clemens Hecker. Eventually though, Mark would succumb to the puncture and start dropping down slightly, with Stefan Fass being the first one to make his way through. At the front though, Norbert Kish reigns supreme. He'd won three titles now on the bounce and made this his fifth championship in his truck racing career. Sasha Lenz was still having to defend from Jochen Hahn behind and Antonio Albacetti wasn't too far out of the picture either, trying to take more important points away from his rivals. But Norby did everything he needed to do and took a fantastic victory to clinch his fifth driver's championship. Excellent vehicle control on display as ever from all of our top runners, but Norby and Rivace Racing were champions yet again. It was an excellent scene to see him come back and be welcomed by the team, and Lena had a quick word with him after the race. You're happy, I don't think I don't have to ask you this. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, very, very happy. Uh, very nice moment, you know, to win the championship with a, with a victory, which was, you know, a little bit hard fought, you know, because I lost the lead in the beginning. But yeah, you know, we had the pace and uh, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to the team for Reves Racing and for our team owner, Mr. Reves. So another race victory for Norbert Kish puts him on 18 race wins so far this season and he clinches his fifth Drivers' Championship. Sasha Lenz finishes in second place with Jochen Hahn in third, with Antonio Albacetti fourth and then Jamie Anderson in fifth. It was a win in the Promoters' Cup for Louis Requenco ahead of Stefan Fass, with John Newell completing the podium there.
From the very moment that the grid formed, the final race of the weekend was looking to be an absolute barnstormer. Louis Requenco would start on pole position with fellow Iveco driver Andre Kurzim alongside him and Steffi Halm in third place. Jamie Anderson would start from fourth and be hoping for another one of his lightning getaways with Antonio Albacetti and Jochen Hahn next up. It was all shuffling as they headed down towards the first corner with prolonged contact between Jamie Anderson and Steffi Halm rubbing the two trucks together in a smokescreen all the way up to the chicane but Louis Requenco importantly held his race lead. Jamie Anderson went a little bit hot into the chicane and a few people had to take avoiding action but there was nothing too untoward and everybody continued as planned. Jochen Hahn suddenly found himself in third place and eyeing up a podium position while the battles behind got more and more intense. Due to the earlier contact though, Steffi Halm's water tank had broken free and was now spewing water all over the circuit and sparks underneath the truck as well as it scraped along the surface. She kept going at full pace with the others diving for dry track behind and this amazing footage was captured as the water tank broke free and then somehow lodged itself back underneath the truck. Steffi would ultimately retire though and bring it into the pit lane, a massive shame after what had been a decent weekend for us so far. That left us with another situation where Andre Kersin was yet again having to defend like his life depended on it. Jamie Anderson the first truck to make his way through, but Andre was given a black and orange flag due to a puncture and would also have to retire from the race. A massive shame for the two Iveco drivers and he was given a bit of helping hand by Jose Eduardo Rodriguez as he made his way through. Louis Requenco was fantastic at the front of the field, not making a single mistake throughout the race on a weekend as well where he was using Lucas Hahn's truck, the son of Jochen Hahn. After the massive engine failure that Louis had had at Zolder, he needed a new chassis to race with and all they'd done was put the body panels on it from his truck and it was going very, very well for him at the front of the field. Norbert Kish and Antonio Albacetti were chasing down Jochen for podium positions and it was going to be a very tense final few laps to see if Norby could come through. After earlier contact, John Newell was left with a left rear puncture yet again and having to defend as well. Jose Eduardo Rodriguez and Stefan Fass fighting for the Promoters Cup title would be very, very hard pressed to try and get past him. Eventually though, Jose Eduardo made his way through and his father Jose Rodriguez in his first weekend back in the championship was having to get his elbows out as well to try and defend his own honour. It was amazing racing and great entertainment from the Promoters Cup drivers yet again, but at the very front, Louis Requenco was a superstar, taking his first race victory ever in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship ahead of Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albacetti. It was an incredibly popular victory felt by everybody all around the paddock and very emotional scenes as the support and emotion outpoured for Louis as he made his way back in. A standing ovation from all the teams and personnel. I actually really feel like I'm the groupie of Louis today. So many happy faces and maybe Antonio can help you translate the Spanish one more time. Antonio, come here. What a great race, thank you so much. It was Louis' 50th race in the new truck. I think he might keep the truck, I'm pretty sure. So congratulations to all of you. How is it feeling right now? Muchas gracias, que ha sido la primera carrera que hacías con el camión, que ha ganado, que te vas a quedar con él. Bueno, bueno. Quiero uno nuevo, uno mejor, uno mejor aún. He will have a new one for next year, but he will keep this one for Jarama, for sure. And no surprise either. Louis Requenco takes his first win in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship ahead of Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albacetti. A fantastic podium for him to stand on and great drivers for him to share it with. Norbert Kish finishes fourth ahead of Sasha Lenz while Mark Taylor finishes second in the Promoters' Cup, sixth overall. Norbert Kish comes away from Le Mans as champion with Jochen Hahn, Sasha Lenz and Antonio Albacetti still fighting over second, third and fourth. Steffi Halm, Andre Kurzim and Jamie Anderson are also in a great fight too for the next places while Jose Eduardo Rodriguez heads to Spanish soil with a very healthy lead in the Promoters Cup. Stefan Fass will be hard pressed to catch up with him but will certainly give it a go as John Newell and Mark Taylor fight for third and fourth places as well.
Le Mans provided a great story for us again as we head into the final meeting of the 2023 campaign. It's bound to be an absolute blast at Harama, as it always is, with plenty of championships to still wrap up. Thanks for joining us, though, at Le Mans, everybody, and we'll see you in Madrid.